What's up guys, it's Will from TechBeat TV bringing to you a review of the clam case for the iPad. So this is the clam case. It is a case and keyboard or Bluetooth keyboard combined into one that turns it into essentially a netbook, almost like a form factor of a netbook. Let's kind of dive deeper into kind of the, the various port entries and cutouts. So there you have the side entry, right? You can freely access the volume weight key what used to be the portrait landscapes lock, which is now, I think, the mute button, which is now also given the option to change to either one. You've got the standby weight key, the headphone jack, and cancellation mic. This is the clam case kind of hinge or specialty hinge. And then you've got the charging micro USB port for the keyboard the 30 pin connector opening and speaker cutouts. Everything's aligned really well. So let's open it up now and kind of show you what it looks like when you open it up. So this is the clamp case as a whole. No issues right there. So see I can start and stop and what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of activate the keyboard. You can slide it just like normal press your home button and it just swipes like normal you can swipe it across or change it whichever way you want so very easy to do things like I'll just open notepad real quick and you can just click see I type this thing just the best part, best part about the plant is that you can type on it without any issues there are some speaker issues space artist however with regards to the I actually mentioned that uh, when I was typing this up and practicing, there are some issues with the spacebar, but I'll get into details why that is. But first of all, the keyboard feels really nice to type on. Feels very similar to if you guys have seen an Acer Aspire One. This keyboard is not a chiclet keyboard; it's more like a, it's it's yeah, it's like an Acer Aspire One. Um, there's a little bit of rocking to the keys in, themselves, so you just kind of. You click on there, and then you can just type like normal, la la la, see look at it, just typing like normal. Keyboard feels fine, um, except for, I mentioned it while I was typing that, which was the keyboard. And the reason for that is, if you'll notice, I don't know if I can zoom, if I can go in a little bit more, I'm going to flip this over real quick, just show you the keyboard. So at an angle, you can see that the keyboard's kind of indented or recessed into the surface. Now the reason for that is this clam case, which was, I kind of misinterpreted when I first uh, made the purchase or decided to pick one up, was I thought it swiveled. It does not swivel, it just backs, it just folds just like a laptop does, but it can fold all the way back, like you can see right here. I folded it all the way back. So why they made it recessed was that the keys don't touch a table or anything like that because they're recessed, because you're supposed to lay this down on a flat surface, right? So your keyboard won't get damaged or anything like that. That's why they incorporate these little tiny pads um, in the various corners, right? Charging life lasts very a very long time. I think the uh, specified time is up to a month. Um, I have actually, since the day I charged this, uh, when I unboxed or unboxed the video a while ago, I have yet to recharge it and it still works completely fine. I haven't had to recharge it at all. Um, no other issues with regards to that. It's nice and comfortable. You can do um, very similar to lay it down and watch it as a video, you know, various different angles. It's pretty nice. I like having that ability. Um, the only issue that I had with the actual case design was, first off, I'm closed, right? I'm fully closed right now. But as you'll see, if there was a way to lock this completely flush instead of having this little gap, that would be great. Not sure how to fix that. I wasn't able to fix that at all after all the different uh, variations that I tried of it. Um, the other issue that I had was you are going to add a bit of bulk. This makes it, this almost feels like I doubled the weight of the iPad when you put the case into, uh, when you put the case onto the iPad. Kind of an issue if you're looking to keep it as a lightweight you know, a lightweight like an ebook reader or anything like that. But if you want to convert your iPad into something very similar to a netbook where you can kind of type on the go very easily instead of having to type on the screen, probably the case for you. But realize that there are issues with accidentally pressing the spacebar because of that recess key, right? It's going to be a little difficult to press the spacebar, um, as well as you're going to be almost doubling your weight. 
and you're not going to have that swivel capability so what you're going to do is even though it's a little painful to watch sometimes you're going to have to lay your keyboard on a surface of a table when you use this right but no other issues with the case itself you know go check them out it's a uh, I'll have the link in the description bar it's clamcase uh, com. I believe it's clamcase.com but just check the description bar and I'll be able to you'll be able to go to their site uh, then hopefully they'll be coming out with something for the iPad 2 probably be picking that up um, at some point uh, if I depending on when they release it the specs etc but there you have it guys if you have any questions about the clam case let me know uh, in a comment or a private message I'll get back to you and I'll talk to you guys real soon with another product review peace like you're just gonna tear it apart or they're gonna fray or uh, shred in any way they do that, the, the headphone divider here works nice, nice and smooth. Control talk buttons.